Hello friends, I'm back to keep working on our stick alphabet. Our next letter is C. Now a C has a curvy line that goes all the way from the top to the bottom and it kind of looks like half of a circle. This is a capital C, a big C. This is a lowercase c, a little c. They look the same, they're just different sizes. So I'm gonna make a C. I need curvy sticks for this. There's a kind of a curvy stick. Let's see if I can if I can make it a better C. Almost. It's getting there. I think that's a pretty good C out of sticks. Did I do it? It curves like half a circle. All right, let's try to make a D now. Let's see, we need to look at what a D looks like so that we know how to make it. Here it is. A D has a straight line and a line that curves from the top, curving around all the way to the bottom. That is a capital D or an uppercase D. Now this one is the little one. That is a lowercase D. It has a stick, it has a straight stick too, but it's different from the big one because it has a little ball on it. So let's try making the capital D first and then we'll try to make the lowercase D. So I have a straight stick and now I need a curvy part. I don't think that one will work. I need a different curvy one. This might work. It doesn't quite meet at the end. Let's see. I think that might be as close as I can get. My sticks aren't too curvy. All right, but it has a straight line and a curvy line. Oops, just like a D. Now I'm gonna make the little D, the lowercase D. So what I need to do for that, I need a straight stick and then a little ball on it. Wait, what straight stick can I use? Here's a straight stick. But now I need the little ball on it. Let's see, let's see if that works. Hey, I think it will. Yeah, friends, now we have, oops, the wind is blowing. Now we have a capital D with the straight stick and the curve from the top to the bottom. And we have a lowercase d, a stick with a little ball going this way. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to make the letter E. Let's see if I can do that. We need to look at it so that we know how it looks. <clears throat> so we know how to make it. E's. A lot of you, when we were at school, you said an E looked like a comb, and I like that. You're right, it does. So it has a straight part, and then it has three sticks that come out of it. One stick is at the top, one stick is at the bottom, and one is right in the middle. So an E is made up of four sticks. We'll need four sticks for it. One stick, two, three, four. And our little e, our lowercase e, is kind of like a circle, but it's not a whole circle, and there's a little line that goes through it. So let's try to make that. I wonder if making the e will be harder than the other letters. We'll have to see. We'll see if it'll be a challenge for us. I like a challenge because that's how we get better at things, from, from trying hard to do new things that we haven't done before. It's awesome. All right. I think that stick is a little bit too curvy to be our straight line. This one is still pretty curvy, but it's a little better. All right, so we need a stick that goes at the top. And we need a stick that goes at the bottom. I'll use this one. And we need a stick that goes right in the middle. Hmm, I should have a little stick somewhere. Let's see. Here's one. I think I did it, friends. A, an E has four sticks. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. 
That's a great E. You see it? One, two, three, four. And now our little E, I need round sticks for that. Do I have any more round ones? This is kind of round. Let's see if that might work. Oh, I think it will. I think it will. Let's see. It's pretty close. I think it's pretty close, friends. This needs to be up a little bit higher. But I think that's pretty close to what it should look like. Let's look at it again. All right, now our next letter is an F, and I'm gonna tell you something cool about the F. Watch this. Let me put the E next to it because I'm gonna show you what's neat. So with our E, we had four sticks. We had a straight stick down, and then we had three. Oops, uh-oh. It started to get windy. I like making our videos outside because it's so sunny and warm and pretty, but then sometimes the wind blows. All right, so let me show you this E because it's it, there's something about it that um, is like the F. I'm gonna show you. We have a stick that goes down and then we have three sticks that go out. Now, when we make an F, it's almost the same looking as an E. It has a straight stick that goes down and a stick that goes up across on the top and then one in the middle, but there's not one at the bottom. And on an E, there is one at the bottom. So they look a lot alike. I'm gonna put them closer so that you can see better how an E and an F kind of look alike. Do you see how they're very similar? They both have a straight stick here and they both have one. I'm sorry, friends. All right, and they both have one on the top and they both have one in the middle, but the F doesn't have one at the bottom and the E does. All right, so let's work on our F. Now that we know that, it's gonna be really easy to change our E into an F. The only thing I have to do is take the stick away. And now it's an F. And then I need to make a little F. I think our E actually will work to make the little F as well. Mm, not quite. Let me find a different stick. I need one that goes across here, across here, because there's a little line that goes across. All right, I'm almost done. Oh, I think that was pretty good. Let's look at it again. Did I do it? I think it's pretty good. I have the capital F with the stick and then one that goes out, and one that goes out, and not one at the bottom. And then I have a curvy part and a line across. And our little F has a curvy part and a line across. A curvy part and a line across. I think that's pretty good. All right, let me see. I think I'll make one more letter in this video and then we'll make our other letters in other videos. So that way you can take breaks between them if you would like to take a break. The last letter we'll do in this video is a G. We have a couple of kids in our class with G names. We have Grayson in our Monday, Wednesday, Friday class, and we have another Grayson that comes to our Tuesday and Thursday class. So we need to make a G. How do we make a G? A G has a big circle kind of a line, but it's not a circle because it's not filled in all the way. It's a big curve and then it stops and it has a little line. You could sit on that like it's a seat, couldn't you? And then our little G, our lowercase g, has a little ball and something that kind of looks like a candy cane. It goes down, way down deep and then curves. So this is how I started our G. I need a little, little bitty stick that can go across here. Let 
Hmm, I think I need a bigger stick than that. Alright, I think I'm almost close to having a G. I think that needs to face that way. Hey, I think I did it. Does it kind of look like a G? It has a curvy line, and then it has a little seat on it that you could sit on. A curvy line and a little seat. Now I need to make the lowercase g. That might be harder. Let's see. I know I need a straight stick, and I know I need a curvy stick. I wonder if this stick will work. Let's see. This stick is kind of broken, so it might work. Yeah, but I need another curvy part because a G doesn't just have this curve. It has a curve down here. So I need another curvy part. Hey, I think that's pretty good. It's got a ball. And then it comes all the way down and curves. Let's look at it again. Here's a little ball and then it comes all the way down and curves. I think that's a pretty good G. I made the little G a lot bigger than I needed to though. I could have made this one bigger. All right, friends, we'll make more letters in our next video. I'll see you then.